I have made new fall and Halloween merch. Go get them now in the first link in the description. There's only three now, but more will be added in the future. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me. And today I am going to be talking about some things that we could be expecting inside of Overlook Bay's Halloween event this year. If you guys didn't know in Overlook Bay right now, it says fall season returns in eight days, which is just a little bit more than a week. And last year in the Halloween event, it was big. And this year, I think it'll be even bigger. And we can kind of predict some things that might be repeating in Overlook Bay or that might come to Overlook Bay because of last year. Now, if you guys didn't know, last year there was kind of a journey, I guess, this little story between this good witch and this bad witch. Now, the bad witch was named Ezra and she was trying to collect all the souls she could to destroy Overlook Bay. Now, the good witch, which I forget her name, she was actually the one trying to stop the bad witch, which I think was her sister or whatever, and kind of just trying for her to not ruin and destroy Overlook Bay. Now, she raised up souls, and we got to the max souls, and after every milestone, we got prizes, like the witch's wand, the witch's broom, which was the first personal vehicle in the game, and even the Halloween pet pod staying for an extra two weeks. Now, what I think we might be able to expect in the next update is some future addings on that story because we never really knew what was going to happen to Ezra. Obviously, the Overlook Bay devs might have forgot about that whole story or whatever, but I think it would be really cool if we were actually able to see a backstory on what happened to Ezra and the good witch. <laughs> and if she actually did come close to destroying Overlook Bay or not. Because after the Halloween event left, we really never heard from her again. The next thing I kind of will expect in this Halloween event is obviously new pets. If you guys didn't know, we had a whole Halloween pet pod right here. This, oh my goodness, I'm so scared. Okay, I don't want to throw it. Breathe. Breathe. Okay. This was the Halloween pet pod. And by buying it with souls, which was the currency inside of Overlook Bay, we were actually able to obtain pets. You could also obtain the Rainbow Rider from Robux. You could obtain some pets, not from the pet pod, but actually just by exchanging souls for them. And we had one pet, which is, what is it? The Sweet Tooth? It was the sweet tooth that we could get from trick-or-treating, which brings me to my next point after we're done with the pets. Now, I think there'll be some amazing new pets inside of this update because, honestly, if this update doesn't have some pets in it, um, yeah, that's just gonna be just a little bit sad. Every Halloween update needs some new Halloween-y pets, and I'm super excited to see what pets will be coming out this year with the Halloween update. We had a ton of new creative and amazing pets, like the ghoul, the, um, I don't even know what some of them are again, but they were just all super, super amazing, and... I definitely expect some more amazing Halloween-y themed pets. Now, I think they will reuse the idea of trick-or-treating again, which honestly, I'm a little bit excited for. Um, I definitely think they'll be reusing this idea because they already had it pre-made and they already kind of know how to do it since they did it last year. And I just really think that they already know how to program the trick-or-treating mini game. So it's probably pretty easy for them to do it again if they already did it, especially when they were just first starting out. But I also think maybe they would add some tweaks on it, like 
we were able to get these pails and we got a free pail but then we also got some pails for souls if you wanted to buy oh my goodness i can't spell today um <laughs> another pail so i think what they should do is you should still be allowed to use these pails but maybe they give you two times candy or something like the ones that you could buy for souls because they are super old and honestly they might just be a little bit valuable by now and i would like to see that you would be able to still use these pails and kind of just get a benefit from using them obviously i'm not so sure about this but i really really hope there's trick-or-treating this year again since trick-or-treating last year was such a big hit and probably one of my favorite parts from the update now i want to talk about i want more i think we could expect more vehicles and some tasks that we can do last year we had the normal daily tasks but we also had some halloween tasks and i where you could earn souls from and i think it would be super super fun to kind of see that again because it was a great way to earn souls just because it was super fun there was obviously daily halloween tasks but then there was also eventually halloween tasks which kind of meant you could have the whole month or however long the update was to complete those tasks and you earned a ton of souls from them and the last thing i am definitely expecting is more vehicles they put out some vehicles last year like the ufo i actually have only one of them but i think it was a monster car or whatever i'm not so sure what it's called i know i know it's uncommon but let me see hmm, hmm. oh this one yes the monster car i know they put this one out and honestly it was just super creative and fun and i just love this if you guys forgot the halloween event was put in four parts last year and i think they should do the same way again i just feel like it's a great way to have a ton a massive update update but putting them out in part so that people don't get so overwhelmed at first but that is what i think we should expect in the overlook bay halloween 2021 event what do you guys expect inside this event i know it's going to be super huge and i really hope some of these ideas actually are in the event thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Also, also make sure make sure to shop my new Halloween and fall spooky collection. More will be added in the future. There's only three now, but shop it. Five Robux only. Click the first link in the description. Bye!